ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் லெட்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் நியூ டாபிக் ஃப்ரம் தி நியூ டாபிக் கேம் அண்ட் ஃபாலோவர் தட் இஸ் மெத்தட் டு கண்ட்ரோல் தி ப்ரெஷர் ஆங்கிள் பிஃபோர் தேட் லெட்ஸ் சி வாட் இஸ் ப்ரெஷர் ஆங்கிள் வி நோ தேட் ப்ரெஷர் ஆங்கிள் இஸ் த ஆங்கிள் பிட்வீன் லைன் ஆஃப் மோஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபாலோவர் டு த நார்மல் டு த பீச் கோர் ஆர் நார்மல் டு த பீச் கோர் அட் அ பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் கான்டாக்ட் ஸோ திஸ் ஆங்கிள் இஸ் த ப்ரெஷர் ஆங்கிள் it is angle between the line of motion of the follower and normal to the point of contact now this line of force exerted by the cam on the follower is very useful in overcoming the output load hence component of the force along the line of motion of the follower is kept as low as possible to reduce the friction between the follower and the guides so what happen when this force exerted at the point of contact by cam on follower this follower tilt into this guide suppose let me draw exaggerated view now now see when force exert on this follower this follower is tilt into this guide view. right now this angle is looks like large and this gap is also large for your understanding but this gap is low but still follower is tilt inside this guides so uh, follower exert the force on guides that is the side thrust so that the component of this force along the line of motion of follower is kept as low as possible to reduce the friction between the follower and guides so we have the maximum pr- uh, pressure angle that is 30 to 35 degree in case of reciprocating follower and for oscillating follower it is 45 degree now let's just calculate the equation or let's just derive the equation for the pressure angle so here we have this cam and follower arrangement here we have roller follower with an offset distance e the radius of base circle radius of cam is rb then distance travel by follower is y from the base circle then this distance is just we just put a symbol a i is an instantaneous center of velocity of cam and follower so uh, let's just calculate velocity v i which is equal to dy by dt and that is equal to i o into omega where omega is the rotation of the cam so it is i o into omega because we know that i o is an instantaneous center we exert the force uh, on follower by the cam along this normal direction and so we have the velocity of follower so velocity of follower is equal to omega into i o that this distance into omega so i'll just put here velocity is dy by dt is equal to i o omega now let's just rearrange this term that dy by dt into 1 upon omega is equal to i o okay so we know that omega is what d theta by dt but right now it is 1 upon omega so it is dt upon d theta is equal to i o again here dt dt get cancel so what remains is dy by d theta is equal to i o now see i o is this distance this is equal to o b plus b i so let's just write dy by d theta is equal to o b plus b i now let's just consider the triangle o1 b i so in triangle o1 b i let us say this equation is equation 1 now in triangle o1 b i this angle equal to phi because we know that along this normal we get phi on this side so on opposite side we have the angle phi so when we calculate tan of phi is equal to it is front divided by adjacent so bi 
divided by O1 B. So I can write here tan of phi is equal to B i divided by O1 B. And see what is O1 B? It is y plus a. Let's just write B i divided by y plus a. So we can write that B i is equal to tan of phi into y plus a. Let's just put this value in equation 1. So we get dy by d theta is equal to ob plus bi. This is our equation 1. So ob here, ob is e. So it is e plus, now we get bi. bi is tan of phi y plus a divided by d theta equal. Now let's just rearrange this term. So we get tan of phi is equal to dy by d theta minus of e divided by y plus a. Okay. Firstly this e moves on another side. So it is dy by d theta minus of e. Then this term goes on denominator. B C. See this triangle O B C. What is A? A is this R B and in in terms of E. So this is 90 degree. So A is R B square minus of E square. So we get tan of phi is equal to dy by d theta minus of e y is uh, divided by y plus a is rb square minus of e square and this is final equation for pressure angle now from this equation it is clear that if lift of follower that is y is found then pressure angle can be adjusted by adjusting the parameter rb and so we can say that when we increase the eccentricity that is value of E then the pressure angle will be decreases during the ascent that uh, we know that uh, from this dy by d theta E will be minus so pressure angle will be decreases but during the descent this dy by d theta is negative so this minus minus become more value so in that case the pressure angle will be increases. But generally this magnitude of force during the rise will be greater. So practically some eccentricity or eccentricity is considered to reduce the pressure angle that we require to reduce the pressure angle during the rise. So in that case we consider a little eccentricity to reduce the pressure angle during the rise. Now as you can see um, in a bow equation when we consider eccentricity is equal to 0 then this equation becomes tan of phi is equal to dy by d theta minus uh, divided by y plus r b. This e will be 0. This indicates that value of r b will be increases it will be decrease the pressure angle means when we increase the base circle radius of cam then pressure angle will be reduced also pressure angle will also reduce by increasing this angle of rotation theta so when we increase the angle of rotation theta what happen the length of pitch curve will be increases and due to increasing length of pitch curve the flatter surface will be there or cam profile become more flatter and so the pressure angle will be a smaller so in this way we can keep the pressure angle of in case of cam and follower is as small as possible in order to avoid the friction between the guides and follower surface i hope you get the concept thank you for watching video